Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. This is GK and we're on our last in a series of storage briefcase breakouts. We sorted out some cards from our collection from years past and we're going through those uh, today. You know, a lot of these cards are stored in their, their original wax packs. So what we'd do is we'd buy these cards, we'd put them back in the wax packs and just keep them till later and, and later is today. And what we've got, we've got kind of a hodgepodge of, of of different card packs. We got some 2001 upper deck retail packs there and there. And over here we've got some got some 2001 upper deck vintage football, upper deck top tier. We've got some 2001 upper deck ovation and then game gear. So no telling what we're going to find. I know what we are going to see is a lot of Peyton Manning because he's on the face of almost all of these covers. So let's go ahead and uh, tear into these cards and, and see what's been hiding all these years. Not sure what we're going to find or if we'll find anything of note at all. Um, or just basically trying to rearrange our collection and kind of see what the heck we've got. If you got any thoughts or ideas on what we should do or how to manage it, man, give us a shout. Let us know what you think. Marcus Riley, Buffalo Bills. We got Bobby Shaw. We got Chad Morton. Hopefully, these things separate a little bit easier. Sean Jefferson. Got Ricky Waters with the Night with the Seahawks. I see a little thirty-two right there. RB thirty-two. Oh, okay. So his position right here, and then his number. Second man, that might be a numbered set. I'm just not very familiar. Mike Allstott with the Bucks and an OJ McDuffie. Looks like we were getting eight cards out of each pack back then. We're going to go ahead and stop storing our cards this way. So that's one of the reasons for this breakout. Here we've got a horizontal Vinny Testaverde. Try and separate them a little bit without getting them all wild and crazy. Steve Berline, signed from the Broncos. Got another Thomas Jones. Jaquez Green. Sean King. Oh, wow. What a shot. Marvin Harrison. Real cool photos. Upper Deck was known for like their the quality of photos that they had. There's a Sean Alexander. Real cool and interesting shots. You know, they were they were kind of revolutionary in that that regard back in the day. And then a Peter Warwick with the Bengals. I know I, I enjoyed collecting some of them. Evidently I enjoyed them enough to buy about 13 packs of these rascals. Try to kind of get these things where they'll the split and all right what do we got here who do we got here terry looks like a terry glenn pretty good weight to these cards too you know they're not not very flimsy matt hasselbeck with the with the seahawks Ooh, brian erlacher what is that 2000 doesn't say that is uh so that would have been his one year total just off the rookie card, but still, Brian Erlacher, Madden legend, and he's a legend of the briefcase. So Jeff Garcia, oh, how cool is that shot right there, J.R. Redmond. You can really see the history of these cards, the evolution, uh, you know, uh, in photography, uh, the, the the printing, just everything. It's real, real, real fun to go through these backs. Tory Holt. Ray Lucas, before he, as he was signed with the Dolphins. Then one of the infamous Cleveland first-round quarterbacks, Tim Couch, proving ground. Being the number one pick in the NFL draft brings a ton of pressure. But Couch, the top selection, has deferred over the years to now Baker Mayfield. And hopefully hopefully that guy can just, man, right the ship and, and make us forget. You know, as longtime football fans, it's – and it's it, it's hard to, to take those guys seriously because of so many unfortunate chain of events that have occurred with their first round quarterbacks. Man, all right, got a Cordell Stewart, a 
Tim Bianca Batuka. Ron Dugans. James McKnight. Signed by the Dolphins. Oh, wow. How about that, Giants fans? And Amani Toomer. Old school. Then a Ron Dane with the Giants. How about that? I think you believe he was a Heisman Trophy winner from the uh, University of Wisconsin. I know he spent a, a year or two with the Broncos. And we were kind of excited to get him. And then and he just kind of dropped off the map. All right. Try to figure out a way to separate these quickly. Jerome Pathon. Got a Jeff Graham with the San Diego Chargers. An Ike Hilliard, New York Giant. Jamal Anderson. The Dirty Bird. Hadn't seen that guy in years, man. We got an Orande Gadsden and an Eric Zier. All right. There's three packs of these guys left. Still, I haven't really seen any big name hits. It makes me makes me wonder, man, if I've, if I've sorted these out and sorted all my, my player favorites. And... Uh, where they ended up because surely we had more than what we're looking at. Oh, wow. I thought that was the back there for a second. So a Chris Chambers rookie, a rookie watch. Chris Chambers rookie watch. Didn't look numbered. It's not just a base card. Got a Jimmy Smith. Got a Drew Bledsoe. A Wesley Walls. Mo Williams, Kevin Johnson, snow card. You can see he's playing in the snow there. Like I said, man, up, Upper Deck had some revolutionary photography that they were bringing to to the to the hobby. It's nice to see again Darnell Autry. It's nice to see those those cards kind of resurface. You know what they're doing today is just unbelievable. You know it it, it blows my mind. When, when I'm opening up packs and, and see what they've been able to do, um, and and to see that 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 involvement or the the hobby evolve from you know the mid '70s to now. Brian Greasy, the Broncos. Trace Armstrong signed by the Raiders. Albert Cano signed by the Saints. J.J. Stokes, Orlando Huff, Rookie Watch, and then a Dennis Northcutt. Not bad, you know. Um, like I said, we we haven't seen any any great or amazing cards. I, you know, back back in the day when I, I was buying these, especially as retail packs, you know, the the odds of getting anything you know exciting or a hit. You know, it just, it just didn't happen. And, you know, so in, even in that regard, the, the hobbies really changed, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to get autograph cards, memorabilia cards, you know, back, back then, man, it, it was, it was tough. Steven Alexander, another Terry Glenn, another Kevin Johnson, you know, Mo Williams. We're seeing a lot of the same cards, you know, uh, it, it seemed like companies would put the same card in multiple packs in the same box and then release it onto store shelves. And, you know, as a collector, you know, if, if you couldn't make it to a, a, a card shop or you didn't have access to the World Wide Web, man, you, you were really hampered in your ability to build sets or build personal collections uh, of, of your favorite players. Frank Sanders with the Cardinals. Windrell Hayes. Ooh, that's a cool. Ed McCaffrey horizontal. I like it. And then a Trent Green. He's traded to the Chiefs. That's back when the Rams were thinking he was the, the guy to take him to the promised land. And then they found out quickly that it was Kurt Warner. All right, so then we got some 2001 Upper Deck Vintage football. So, yeah, both tops and up, Upper Deck were... We're kind of in the game to to do these throwback cards. Uh, and, you know, I'm a fan today. I was a fan then. We got Reggie Wayne, we got a Brian Mitchell, we got a Richie Anderson, we got a Howard Griffith, Eric Rett, James Allen, 
Looks like a rookie, rookie double card, Reggie Germany, Kenyon Rambo, Tim Hasselbeck. Wow. Marcus Tuyasa Sopo with the Raiders. That's a nice pack. Hadn't seen some of those guys in years for sure. Now we've got an upper deck top tier. Don't know what this is all about. But I do know I was liking their cards back then. Upper deck top tier. So we've got an Albert Connell. New Orleans Saints. Jay Fielder. Rudella Anthony. And a Curtis Conway. All right. So now we go into a 2001 Upper Deck Ovation. And once again, Peyton Manning. So it looks like we've got four cards in there. We've got Charlie Batch. And these have kind of an emboss to them. Actually, really cool cards. Man, I, I wonder why I didn't buy more of these. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if you can tell, but as, as I'm running my finger across there, I can feel the emblem. And that's pretty cool. We've got Charlie Batch. We've got a Rob Johnson. We've got a Mike Allstott with that Buccaneers logo. So you can feel the logo, and then where the, where the player is, it's smooth. Wow, that's nice. I had no idea what I, what I had. Jermaine Corroel. Oh, yeah. How about that? Man, that's nice. Brian Erlacher from 2001, Upper Deck Ovation. And our last pack of the Upper Deck Collection. Looks like it was a retail pack back in the day. Eight, eight bucks was a crazy price to pay per pack back then. And I'm sure this was a retail, you know, probably in the hopes of getting, you know, a numbered rookie jersey card. And I think the early 2000s might have been the first time I, I, I'd seen that, that kind of technology. It doesn't seem like we've got one in here. Probably not, but we do have Trent Green for the Chiefs. We've got another Brian Greasy. We got uh, Jeff Lewis with the Panthers. And we'll close out this set on Jeff Garcia with the San Francisco 49ers. Thanks again, everyone, for stopping by and tuning in. Hope you like what you see. If you got an idea what what to what we should do with this collection, man, please let us know. Hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed going through these cards and finding out what we've got. We'll be back next time, probably with a, a hobby box break or or something from nowadays. But uh, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.